Hi everyone, Val here with my helper. What's your name? Kason. Kason. And we just got all the new releases for October and oh my god, there's so many. There's over 40. They're amazing. We can't wait to show you. Okay, Kason, he decided that he's going to be the passer, but instead he's being <sighs> the reader. So, you want to show them which one you got? Season Ocean. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, hey? So this one is awesome. We love the Look Inside series. If you look behind us on the bookshelf, we have most of the books in the series. So lots of flaps, lots of opportunities to learn. And Kaysen just loved the ocean. His very favorite thing about the ocean is anglerfish and the Marianas Trench. And we haven't had a chance to read this yet oh, to look into it. But So he's going to look into that one. And I'm going to just grab books because he's too busy to pass them to me. So they're in no particular order, by the way. We just have them in a stack. So this is Little Children's Coloring Book. So it says, Join Mouse and Friends for lots of coloring fun. This bright, cheerful book is a perfect way for little children to develop their pen control skills. So then... It's just like a really basic coloring book where you can just add in some things. So what color will your trees be? And I love flags. You can design your own flags. So it's just this fun little basic coloring book. Kaysen, do you love this one? He was telling me yesterday that he wants to keep it. So then we also got some new wipe clean books in our little wipe clean series. So we have About Me, and outdoor. So both of them have over 120 words. Well, these ones are all about nature, all the words. So this is great for kids who are learning how to write and how to read or who just want to have fun tracing. So that one's nature. This one is all about me. So there's action, move, uh, action words, names, and you'll notice um, this is a British book, so it's not always the exact spelling that we would use. But again, it's all about the pen control and the, the tracing. So we have a new phonics reader, which is one of my most favorite series. We love the phonics books. This one has a funny name, Mr. Nose Picker. What's it called? Axotl Finds a Bottle. Axotl Finds a Bottle. Now, I don't know if I'm saying Axotl right. I've never heard of an Axotl. And I haven't had a chance to Google search it yet, but it looks like a pretty cute story. You read it last night, didn't you? Did you read it or did you just look at the pictures? Just look at the pictures. The pictures are pretty fun. So we haven't had a chance to read it yet, but it looks pretty darn cute. I just love the illustrations in it. We got a nice new That's Not My Book, That's Not My Koala. So these are perfect. They're board book pages. They have a little mouse hiding on every page a different touchy-feely texture. So they're just perfect for little fingers or for kids who are learning how to read because they're so repetitive. We're excited about the koala bear. And then a nice new little board book in our little board book series. So in this one we have like Noah's Ark and the Gingerbread Man and uh, One Two Buckle My Shoe. And I love that they're coming out with the, the little classic fairy tales. So of course Little Red Riding Hood. And I did um, take a peek at the end because I'm always curious how they end these because you just never know but they they fill his tummy with rocks I think and then he goes about his way so that's how that one ends we have a brand new series that we've never had before this one is called step inside so we have um, peep inside and look inside and see inside and now we have step inside so this is ancient Egypt and you get to go in and it's all laser cut and you get to just see um, ancient Egypt and see how they lived and I know at the end there's some there's some flaps that you can peer into and you can look at their treasures so this one looks really cool I can't wait to see what else they come out with in that series We've got a couple new sticker books in the little Sticker Dolly Dressing series, puppies and kittens, and they are reusable, which is nice, so you can move them around. So you can dress the people, you can put all the kitties in the scenes, which are super fun. So kittens and puppies. And then we have a bigger 
sticker dolly dressing. So if you want to compare sizes, um, this is about the size difference. But look at this. Unicorns. Everybody loves unicorns. And look how pretty these ones are. No, except me. Oh, except Kason, because unicorns to him are what? Too girlish. Too girlish. But look how pretty they are. There's even some sparkly ones in there. So, I have a feeling that when this one is released on October 1st, it is not going to last long. All right, pass hey, me something else. Them. Oh, sorry. Here, why don't you pass me something else? I'm stealing your job because you're, you're too busy reading. No. No. Do you want to talk about it? No. Okay, so this one is 100 Things to Know About Planet Earth. This is a great series. We have like um, 100 Things to Know About Science, Body, um, Food, History, Space. Lots of great ones. So I'm really excited about the Planet Earth one. So it basically has 100 random facts about Planet Earth. Africa is bigger or smaller than Greenland, depending on your map. Shadows and a camel are all you need to measure the earth. So all of these just cool random facts and then it goes in and explains them. We've got a brand new Christmas sticker book and I think this one's going to be one of my new favorites. It's sparkly and I love sparkly. I love stickers, all stickers. They're just my favorite. So can you please stop pulling on my pants? I'm wearing ripped jeans and he likes to pull on them and make the holes bigger, which I don't really care for. So this one is also reusable, has all these nice um, wintry scenes and then some really great fun sparkly stickers. And it's kind of like woodlandy. I don't know, they're just beautiful. I kind of want to keep this one for myself. Should I keep it for me? Why don't you pass me the rest of those sticker books over there? Cause he found one that he wants to keep for himself. Wanna pass it to me? What, can you let me do it after the video? Don't, don't, don't. Let's see, hurry, hurry. I'm gonna talk about okay, it. Okay, show the front. What is it called? Little Horse Stickers Jungle. So this one's reusable too. Here's the stickers. So here, let me just show it closer. So you get to see the rainforest all these tropical scenes, jungle, and then put on all the stickers and then you can move them around if you want to. We have some more books in the 199 series, which we love so much. I don't know if you can see them behind us. I'm pretty sure we have all of them. Man, you're grabby today. So 199 jobs. My 10 year old last night was like, can we keep this? Cause I'm not really sure what I want to be yet when I grow up. So she was studying through this coming, trying to come up with different ideas of what she could be when she grows up. So it's a great way to just open up um, conversation with all ages. So there's 199 jobs. And then can I show this one? 199 things on the road. So there's all sorts of cars and trucks and things in town and on the farm. So just all sorts of things you'd see on the road. We also got something super exciting. A cookbook. So Start to Cook, it has 150 recipes in it. And it's got gorgeous pictures. It's in like a nice coil bound thing. So it has different sections like fruits and vegetables. Maybe I'll just show you. I don't even know where the table of contents is. Yeah, Anyways, so each, just one sec, each tab has a different section. So here's fruits and vegetables, and then here's dairy and eggs, okay. and we have potatoes and pasta, and then I'll just show you a couple recipes. So look at how nice those pictures are, and the, the directions are really easy to follow. So this is definitely... Um, a keeper for my kids who just love to make their Looking way around the kitchen. Bookseller. There's a bookseller. Look, it's me. Except I look like a man. See? Oh, wrong way. Bookseller. Is that what you want to be when you grow up? No. Look at this brand new maze book all about the forest. I love anything forest or woodland, stuff like that. I just think it's so um, pretty to look at. So... We also love to read the little sayings at the top, the little story. Um, Sandy got soaked 
doing water sports and wants to warm up by the campfire, lead her along the trails, going via the girls' cabin for some dry clothes without passing any no entry signs and without doubling back. So you really have to read it so you can figure out which way to go. So super fun new base book. A brand new in one of our most favorite series, Questions and Answers. This one's all about weather. Super fascinating. This little boy beside me, he loves everything about facts. In fact, the other day he was asking me how snow forms. And I told him, well, go read your book about snow. And he said, well, it doesn't tell you how it forms. So maybe in here it will talk about how snow is formed. If not, maybe we'll have to like ask Google because sadly, and maybe embarrassingly, I, maybe that's common knowledge and I just don't know it. So lots of things to learn about the weather. We have a brand new activity book. This one is all about maps. This one might be a little challenging for you. There's also a little children's um, activity book. So we have a pirate activity book and then we have a maps activity book. So this one is um, the little children series. So definitely for a younger age. It's just more simplified. Same types of activities, but just more simplified. And then this one I would say is more for my girls who are 10 and 13. So those will be fun. We have another Sea Inside, which is a series we love, and it's all about the museum, which is really cool. So treasures from the past, and it's filled with, oh, there we go, all sorts of flaps where you can look about where all these treasures came from, wonders of science, up, up, and away, natural history, behind closed doors, putting on a show, and museums around the world. Oh, I can't reach them. Can you push all the books closer? We have so many books, it's crazy. Mix and Match. This is a baby's very first book, Mix, mix and Match Jobs. Um, if it didn't say baby on it, Kason would really like it, but he gets tripped up by that word and thinks that he shouldn't be playing with it because he's not a baby. But it's very cool because you can just turn all of the things, you can look at them the right way, and match them or you can make silly pictures. Super fun. My helper's lost in a book. Look at this pop-up fairy tale. This is so pretty. It's the three little pigs. Look at those pop-outs in it. This might be one of my most favorite pop-out books that we have. gonna huff and puff and blow the house in but look what happens at the end he comes down the chimney and lands in the pot love it I don't see. yeah you can look at it we have a few new novels so this one is called the girl with space in her heart we have a few books from this this author and my girls really really like it so no pictures this is geared towards probably I'd say uh, a mature reader like 10 10 and up 10 to maybe like 14 or something. Well, I shouldn't say up to 14 because I'd read it. And then we have a brand new series, Amy Wild, it's called. So she has all these different adventures with animals because she can talk to animals. So um, this one is about her and quarreling cats. And this one is the silly squirrel. So these are very, very simple. I'd say these are probably ages seven and up. We have a brand new pack of snap cards, which Kaysen was not a fan of because it's girly. I'm it's hopeful worse. that he'd still play it with me. It's the worst. It's the worst. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed, if you can't tell. But look how pretty they are. They're they all have names. Calypso, Anemone, Luna. So we can play snap. We can play Memory Match, we can play Goldfish, we can play Old Maid. There's so many fun uses for snap cards. Actually, Kaysen made up a new game the other day with our snap cards, with our dinosaur snap. He set up his dinosaurs all around the room, and then I had to go match the snap card, because they all have names on them, um, and I had to go match them to the appropriate dinosaur, which was kind of fun. Okay, so we have a new picture book. These are big. I don't know if you can tell how big they are, um, but they're... 
they're big. The Emperor and the Nightingale, which is sadly a story that I'm not familiar with, so we're going to have to read it. The Nightingale is an ordinary looking bird with an extraordinary voice. She sings so sweetly, even the Emperor is enchanted, until a glittering golden bird arrives and everything changes. So this is a Hans Christian Andersen tale. And look at how pretty the illustrations are. I can't wait to read it. And then we have a whole bunch of new mini books, five I think. So hand shadows, so you can make hand shadows on the walls. We have hand lettering, which is really cool. So just taking regular letters and then making them fancy. My 10 year old was super excited about this. Birds to spot, I think Kaysen's excited. This one has some stickers in it. So I think the idea is that Oh, maybe not. I was going to say that when you find the bird, maybe you put the sticker by it, but I think there's just stickers for fun. So I like that it has some facts about the birds. There's a Spot the Difference book, which is really fun. And also Mirror Drawing, which is also super fun. So just drawing the other side. I like that it's like on a graph, so you can use that to scale where it goes. What, do you want to show this one or do you want me to? No, I got it. Okay, quick. So, oh, so cool. This one's called Airport Activities. Yes, it's a wipe clean book. So it has spot the difference, dot to dots, mazes. Trace the lines. Yep. All sorts of activities. You get to draw, circle things, spot them. So let's trace read, numbers. Let's let's read them an activity. Draw a line mm -hmm. between two pairs of passengers below who look just like each other. So there's lots of matching. Draw Follow the trails to see which Draw where which animal will sit. So these are fun. This is just like my most favorite wipe clean series. There's building sites, there's farm activities, space, garden, there's dozens, it feels like. Can you go get that poppy and sam one? Or actually I'll do writing skills while you go. Grab me that Poppy and Sam book, please. So this one is from our key skill series, Wipe Clean Writing Skills. So this is geared towards ages 8 and 9, it says. But my 13-year-old really likes these, so I wouldn't really say that that's the only ages it's for. But off to camp. So it's just writing. Teaching you and working on your writing skills. All right, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> you fell over your dump truck. So we also got some new embroidery kits. We already have mermaid and unicorn, and now we have llama and flamingo. So it has all the stuff in it that you need to make these beautiful embroideries, which we have not actually tried yet. Okay, okay pass me that poppy and sand book, please. Why poppy and sand? Because we're running out of stuff to show. You want to show puzzles? Man, you're being an awful listener today. Kaysen was just doing this one this morning. This is a brand new series that we've never had before either. It is a book and three nine-piece jigsaws. So they're very easy. And, and they have different colors on the back. They do. They have different... They're so sturdy that they stay together that I can show you. So this is puzzle number one, which has an orange back. Here's puzzle number two, which has a blue back. So if you mix them all together, it's easy to sort them. And then, can you guess what color this one's back's going to be? Green. Green. And it has the best book. We have this in a sound book that you can push and listen to all the sounds in the jungle. But they just have it in this hardcover little mini version. It's the middle of the night in the busy jungle. Can you find a red snake and an orange lizard? And then it just goes through and it shows you all of these different parts of the jungle and you can spot things and you can talk about all the things, but it's just gorgeous. And yeah, it goes really great with the puzzles. It's such a good deal. $17.95 for the book and three little puzzles. So excellent deal, I think. We have three more new puzzles. So this one is a 30 piece puzzle. It's the Nativity and it comes with a full size picture book. I always love our puzzles. The pieces are super sturdy. And look, it's a full size um, 
book about the nativity and then 30 pieces and our books or our our puzzle pieces I, I find very comparable to Melissa and Doug they're very sturdy they're very durable okay this one is my most favorite we have all the puzzles if you look up you can see we have every Osborne puzzle ever released and now we have this beautiful forest one so this one's in the forest it has a hundred pieces and it also comes with a book. So this one comes with 100 pieces and a picture puzzle book in the forest. So it's a search and find. And then we have one last puzzle to show you. It's a 200 piece. That's my favorite. It's 200 pieces and it's the solar system. So you can see it has all the names of like the planets and all the different parts of the solar system. And this one comes with a very cool book. So here's, you can see the pieces. Okay. Be careful. And it comes with, stand up big, nobody can see you. It comes with fold solar out solar system. system. So we also have this book in a big hard cover, which retails for $17.95. Wow. Or you can get this amazing 200 piece puzzle for $17.95. So, hmm, what's the best deal, I wonder? Okay, one more book. Could you please pass me the Poppy and Sam book? We love the Farmyard Tale books. I, it's the worst for me. Oh, yeah, real. Okay. Poppy and Sam animal stories. So you can buy um, the Farmyard Tale books in mini version. You can buy them in a big bind-up book with 20 stories. You can buy them in the leveled readers. Or now you can get them. Oh, and there's touchy-feely ones too. There's so many different ones to pick from. Poppy and Sam's animal stories. Oh yeah, and we also have Poppy and Sam noisy ones too. So this one has 10 stories in it. Curly gets stuck, the hungry donkey, Rusty's train ride, the grumpy goat, Curly gets lost, Wooly stops the train, the silly sheepdog, the new pony, naughty Wooly, and Dolly and the train. Here's a little introduction to Poppy and Sam and all of the people that live on Apple Tree Farm. And then this is what all the stories look like. So it's beautiful. I love it. It's a hardcover. It's the worst. And it's the worst. Why do you think it's the worst? And it also has a little yellow duck hiding on every page. So can you spot it? I see one hiding up in the fence and hiding over here. So it just makes them super fun. Why he's saying he doesn't like it, I don't know because last night he was awfully excited about it. I think he woke up on the grouchy side of the bed. Anyways, thank you for sticking with us. This was a very, very long video. I apologize, but we had over 40, I think there's like 47 or something books to show. So super fun. Please comment below and tell me which ones are your favorites. Bye everyone, have a great day.